Today I'm going to teach you the violin. Allow me to demonstrate the first two songs that include a plucking without the bow. This is Big Ben. How I did that is by plucking this string and then plucking this string. Now you must be careful not to break your finger now. And let me demonstrate Little Ben. I was playing, I was playing C, C and then E, C and then E, on, on Big Ben and for Little Ben I was playing D, D and then F, D and F. Now if we really wanted to play G and any single other note that's on, that's on violin you have to be careful which one with which one is which this is C this is D this is E this is F now for the lower portions this is this is G and this is A and this is B now let me let me demonstrate the third one new set let me duck get my bow Now what we have to do is we need to think about what we're doing. My, my violin teacher told me when I was young, she, she, said, she said that I should keep my fingers in the right position. And how to do that is, let me just go get my book to show you. Remember, for your fingers on the bow, there's a, there's two little, there's two little people at the book. This is a bit peculiarly funny. So these are the two little fingers on the porthole. This is. This is the captain, and this is the captain's mate. And these are two, the two fingers at the porthole. And this is the little lookout man. So it goes like this. Now for Musette, I'm not very good at because I'm only six. But allow me to demonstrate half of it. Well, that's a bit creaky, but that's all this bow can really do. Now, the last one is also plucking. It's called Ready Steady Bow. The only reason why it says it's, it says the bow for the last word is because really you're supposed to you're supposed to wave your bow for the last bit. So this is how to play it.
make up for next time. But for now, I'm going to play the next one because I know how easy you are for playing the violin properly. So here, one, two, three. 